<clears throat> so grieving, how has it been coming up for you? Mm. Um, I've been in this phase in my life where things are shifting and I think it comes with the new season, with spring, these new beginnings, and it's a wonderful shift. And I'm excited about it. I feel like I've been waiting for a while for it. And at the same time, a part of me is in the state of grief and in the state of sadness of relinquishing who I used to be and the way I used to do things. It's interesting that you say that um, you correlate it to the seasons. Because one of the things I love about living in the Midwest is that we get those seasons, right? And we are allowed to ebb and flow between the yin and the yang. Uh, we get to, you know, flourish, but then die off. Um, and every season has a lot to offer and spring especially is sometimes the most um, overwhelming I would say in the terms of growth so then it, it, it makes perfect sense that your the grieving process is it's a little bit bittersweet versus winter <laughs> when everything's dying off right uh, it's kind of it's more cozy and you get that anticipatory way of life of Ooh, you know, when, you know, spring gets to come, it's exciting. Yeah. So when you say that you, who you used to be, why is it hard or sad? Why are you grieving that? I think it's just because um, I practiced it for so long. I practiced being that person for so long. And now I get to practice being a new me and doing things in a different way. And that's, it's such a big shift when you go from a certain way of thinking about things and doing things, even if you weren't consciously aware of doing it that way, to suddenly, <laughs> to suddenly coming out of it and being like, oh, I was doing that. And now, now what? So for me, I realized I had a, a really big aha that I had a lot of anger in life. I had a lot of anger. And it, for the most part, showed up as sadness. Um, because a lot of, and that happens for a lot of women, we're not in society allowed to express anger. So it manifests as sadness. But I, having that aha, this was just last week, I really relinquished it. I just let it go. I was like, you know, I don't have anything to be angry about anymore. I don't feel that need. But I realized also that anger was pushing me forward in life. It was such a driving force. And now, now what? And now I get to be curious. I get to bring in um, dolphin medicine, dolphin energy, which has been around me for a while now. And I get to have fun and you know, surf the waves and go with the current and just be curious and have fun. That's my new energy to propel me forward. There's something that, uh, you know, I just learned yesterday on my coaching call with my coach is that anger is an expression of fear. And one of the majority or one of the main ways females especially do is sadness and restrictiveness or surrendering to the point to where they, we, we make excuses for why we shouldn't step up or be our true authentic self. Absolutely. And for me especially too, I, I love the fact that it, it, it is like a grievance process of who you are. I think we get identity fixed we get fixated on who we feel we need to be or we should be or how we should show up or what dialogue we can use um, in today's society. And there's that disconnect in that space of being your old self, right? Or just trying to be a certain mm -hmm. way versus surrendering and allowing and growing and understanding that there's a lot of um, uncomfortableness 
bitter sweetness, but you never lose who you used to be. Exactly. Right? It's, it's part of the process to help grow and evolve you into becoming who you are meant to be if you allow it here today. Who I was one week ago or one year ago is not the same as the person who sits before you today. And it doesn't have to be like a, um, a pain story, right? Or a, a, dis- a loss. A di- and- yeah, a loss. That's a better it way to say it. It doesn't have to be a loss. Like it was, it was a big eye opener for me last year sometime that grief didn't have to be a loss that that you could be grieving something that wasn't a breakup it wasn't somebody dying in your life you know it wasn't losing a job it was just just to grieve the thing that really as you just said that losing a job i think that's a big like transitioning careers or people whose kids go away to school, right? I think there's a huge um, underappreciated or an, like opportunities are not taken in grieving that shift, right? You know, you get in this career and then you go to another one and it's kind of sad that you don't get to experience those old people or you have your old way of being or functioning and relating same thing as parenting uh when you have your parent or your kids in home and then they all leave it's like you're flipped upside down because the way you lived your life no longer it's not that it's not necessary but you have a lot more free time to be a new you Mm -hmm. a new way and there's a lot of resistance of like it's almost like it's a punishment or it has to be a, a loss or an uphill battle. Well, why can't it just be a celebration? Why can't it be curious, right? And uh, a growth opportunity. Absolutely. Hmm. So how has grief shown up for you in these last say, two weeks? Um, for me, especially the I'm constantly evolving in the identity category and grieving the connections I used to have and how they used to make me feel. But so there's two ways in which I grieve the way in which I used to allow myself to be in unhealthy relationships, because I know that by being in those unhealthy relationships, whether they were abusive or, you know, disempowering. I liked that then, like I needed that. So just now that I don't accept that or I don't really allow that anymore, that it, it's sad to kind of let go of that part of me or that, that version of me. Um, but then also the second way in which I'm kind of grieving the evolution of growth is uh, comfortability. Yeah, you lose that comfortability when when you're changing your identity and the way you do things and you've been bringing your subconscious thoughts to the forefront into your consciousness. Uh, there's, you have to let go of comfortability. It's, it's not going to be comfortable and you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. And so I have been just allowing grieving to be growth. Mm-hmm instead of, um, you know, debilitating on who I become. So my action step for everybody today is to allow the emotions that come up for you to just come up without analyze, without analyzing it, without questioning it. Why is this happening right now? What's going on right now? Making meaning of it. Just breathing into it and accepting it for what it is. If you need to break down, you break down without judgment. And just get curious. Be like, okay, well, it's interesting and breaking down right now. I wonder what that could mean for the future. And then let it happen. That's the extent of it. That's my action step. I love that. Thank you. Thank you.